Hello, welcome to this exercise. We're going to write a program uh, that's going to ask the user to tell to input a grade that the student received on an exam. We're going to use an if else if ladder to output the following. If the grade's greater than or equal to 90, then we'll say that they've earned an A. And you can see the rest of the ranges. Between 80 and 90 will be a B. Between 70 and 80 will be a C, and so on. Uh, if we get less than 60, then we'll just say they earned an F. Again, there are probably five different ways that I could come up with to, to implement this and have it work correctly. What I'm asking you to do is use if, else, if uh, statements so that we can, um, you know, so that we can, we can pull that off. So we're going to import the scanner class. We're going to use the keyboard there. We're, we're declaring our new scanner object. Here we're just going to call it input. And then we'll create an integer called grade. This is what's going to hold the input from the keyboard uh, that we'll be using in our comparison statements. Then we'll be printing out what grade did you earn on the exam. And then we'll check to see if at the keyboard there's an integer waiting. And if there is, we'll import that integer. We'll take it in from the keyboard and we'll store it into our variable that we have called grade. So this is just all getting stuff from the keyboard. Then we'll have our first if statement. If the grade is greater than or equal to 90, then we'll just print out the statement, you earned an A on the exam. Now notice that this is a single line if statement. I could have put this line over here. I'm just choosing to indent it underneath because I just want to, just to show you variety. Now under that, we will have else if. So what, what's going on here is if this one is uh, done, then we'll print out this statement and we'll jump out of the if else if ladder. Uh, but if this is not true, then we'll jump down and we'll do a second comparison on this if. Here we're checking to see if the grade is greater than or equal to 80 and if the grade is also less than 90. So we're checking to see if it's between 80 and 90. Um, of course, if it's actually equal to 90 itself, then we're saying they have an A from up above here. So here we, we don't have a less than or equal to 90 because we've already covered the case when we're equal to 90 up here. So we're saying if literally it's 80, 81, 82, 83, all the way up to 89, then we'll say that they've earned a B. Now, if that actually isn't true, then we have another else if where we're checking to see if it's between 70 and 80. And again, I've got greater than or equal to 70 um, because if we actually get a 70, I want to say they earned a C. But if they actually earned an 80, the previous statement will catch it up here to greater than or equal to to say they have a B. So what I'm trying to show is sometimes I have greater than or equal, sometimes I just have less than. Um, because I'm trying to get the boundaries correct. And so you have to play with it a little bit and do some logic to figure out if you, you agree with this or not. But basically, if the grade is greater than or equal to 70 and less than 80, we'll just say that they've got a C on the exam. If that's not true, we'll do a comparison with this one. If it's greater than or equal to 60 and if the grade is less than 70, so between 60 all the way up to 69, just before 70, we'll say they have a D. And then we could have another else if under it, but here we're just going to put an else. This will be the catch-all. If all of these evaluate to false, then the only other thing that could possibly be true is that they got less than a 60 on the exam, in which case we'll just say that they earned an F. So again, there are lots of different variations in how you could pull this off, but what we're doing is we're checking the first one, and if that's not true, we'll check the second one. If that's not true, we'll check the third one. If that's not true, check the fourth one. If that's not true, this else will definitely execute uh, for sure. So let's go ahead and run it. What grade did you earn on the exam? If I was a good boy and got a 98 on the exam, then it says I've got an A on the exam. Um, if I get an 82, it says I've got a B on the exam. If I got a 76, it says I have a C on the exam. If I've got a 61, it says I've got a D on the exam, and if I get anything lower than that, let's say I get a 59, really close to 60, but still not quite good enough, I still earned a big fat F. If I check the boundaries, it makes sense. If I get an 80 on the exam, that should be a B, and that's correct, because in the case of an 80, it falls into this one. If we're greater than or equal to 80 and less than 90, we get this guy. And so you can go and convince yourself of these other ones down here. 60, we're going to earn a D because we've bounced into this part of the ladder if the grade is greater than or equal to 60 and of course less than 70 there we go there so the if else uh, the if else if ladder is kind of the granddaddy of them all if you have lots of different um, uh, situations you want to compare in rapid sequence then you can use if and then you can have an else if statement for a subsequent comparison another else if statement another else if statement if you have a else at the very end, that will definitely execute if everything else falls through. 
Um, and so it, it's very useful when you're doing lots of comparisons, you know, in lots of different ranges or rapid fire comparisons to try to figure out what bucket something falls into. The if else if uh, bucket can or statements can work. Now, of course, we've learned before the else ifs are optional. You don't need these here. You could just have if and else. The else statement's optional. You don't have to have else here. If we had deleted this here, then all that would happen is um, if we get anything less than 60, then the program will terminate and we won't print anything on the screen. So everything's kind of optional here, but you're using this sequence when you're trying to do rapid fire comparisons, uh, one after the other after another, trying to figure out what category or bucket it falls into.